Talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, either I respect that. If she be down the ride, no, I bet that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is JH. How y'all doing, Postal Family? Is everybody good? Is everybody cool? Everybody clean? Are you crisp? Are you feeling iry? Is you feeling iry today? Let's talk. But first, let me introduce Mr. P. There we go. We don't like to give too many names. For those that know him, you know him. For those that don't, <laughs> you will. will. So here's a parental advisory. If you're easily offended, please, you can change the channel now. This is not a typical JH production. This is going to be a little bit more unfiltered and uncut. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about ish that's going on at the plant. I won't, I won't cuss, but it's going to get a little raggedy. Mr. P. Yes, sir. Tell them who you are. Tell them what you do. Well, in my career at the post office, I've worn many hats. I was a driver for many years with uh, JH. Yeah. And uh, then I uh, decided it was time not to do that anymore. And I went to be a uh, groundskeeper, Grounds custodian. Keeper. But I only work outside and I maintain the facility. Okay. And um, it's a very, it's a much better environment where I am versus driving and 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 so forth and touching that mail. There's just so much stress in it, and just I don't have that anymore. I'm at peace, and you know, there's no bullshit in it. Okay. okay. You know, it's it is what it is, but it's on a better. Uh, so on a better note, I'd rather that number, you know, some people think it's all about the money. It's not all about the money. It's all about peace and tranquility and all that. But unfortunately, you know, fortunately for me and unfortunate for others, it did bring more money. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. So, how, yeah. How did that happen? How huh? did that happen? Uh, I don't, I had no idea. I had just, I went there and next thing I know, I make more money. And what'd you say? Don't rock the boat. Just, you know. Hey, you know, keep it, uh, I kept my mouth shut and I keep my check. That's so, it. all right. So I end up making more money, less doing stress. less work, less stress. Uh, nobody ordering me, hurry up. No, I'm not dealing with traffic. I'm not dealing with any of that, any of that other garbage. I don't deal with that anymore. What, what days of the week do you work? I work Monday through Friday. Oh, what's your hours? Um, uh, seven to three thirty. Seven a.m. to three thirty. Yeah, like banker hours. That's nice. Sure. That's nice. Uh, and when I want to make my uh, overtime, my, it's no problem. I come in at five a.m. and I work till three thirty. So I make two hours a day overtime, and so I'm good. I have nothing bad to say about my department where I am. I have nothing bad to say. Now, management's cool? Huh? The management's cool? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. There's no issues. No issues with the management where I'm at. No. So you're trying to tell me that there's a job at the post office that's 100% stress-free? Yes. Mm. I heard about it for many years, and I thought it... And I, and I actually laughed when people used to tell us years ago, oh, you, you know, the best job is that. And I used to go, what? I didn't think so. I thought I had the best job in the world as a driver because we both like to drive. And, you know, I've been driving like 40 years as well as him. 26. You know, yeah. don't, don't make me older than I yeah. am. Yeah, I ahead. mean, I've been driving 40, <laughs> I, between, you know, the post office and my other job, I was, I have 40 years driving a semi. Okay. Yeah, so. And right now you're at your most peace. Yes. No question. Nope, no so, question. So let's get in the nitty gritty, man. Right. I hate to bring up the bad memories, but what did you not like about working inside with the mail? Working inside with the mail, it was it was it was the the lack of common sense, the lack of nobody wanted to hear any nobody wanted to hear your ideas to how to make things any better. Okay. They wanted me to go to say my bid. They wanted me to go to the same station 
three times a day with three pieces of equipment every time I went, instead of taking the nine pieces of equipment one time, and then they wanted me to drive a semi with an express bag, express mail in it. It's just basically a knapsack with, with, with four pieces of mail in it to take it, say, to our farthest distance. You know, within 60 miles. Yeah, within, yeah. And, and I'm like, what? So you you want me to it? drive a semi up there empty? Yeah, that's what I want you to do. I was told by my by our old management um, that uh, he said that he appreciated my efficiency, but that's not what the post office wanted. Mm. And I'm like, what? That made zero sense. The truck gets six miles to the gallon. They have four pieces of express mail at $28 a piece. They lost money between sending me, sending him the truck, the insurance, and everything. They lost money. They were in the red doing that. You could have easily put that in in, in a car and drove it there. But no, I wanted it in a semi. I'm like, okay. You know, basically I was told, oh, do what I tell you to do. I says, I'm not going to do. I'm, I wasn't going to do that. So you were rebellious. Yes, I was. How rebellious against dumb shit. Absolutely. So how did that work out for you? Did you get in trouble? Oh, they tried. They tried a whole lot of different things. Yeah, there was a point in time that I got an I.I. every day. Investigative uh, interview people. So if that's what I, yeah, it was a point in time that I requested to have my own chair to sit in. Because, I mean, I blasted them. You know, they blasted me with bullshit. And I blasted them back with with stuff that made sense. And trust me, there's a saying. And, I, and Jay knows where I'm going with this. If you have one genius in the room and ten idiots, who wins? Obviously, ten idiots. the ten idiots because the genius is outnumbered. And unfortunately, I don't fall by... Um, just because all the ducks are crossing the road to get run over, and I'm not following Mama Duck in the road to get killed. And that's what most of these people do at the post office. They, and I hate to say, use it, it's like monkey see, monkey do over there, really. And I, and I'm just, and 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 I'm not, I'm not better than anybody. I just think on a different way, and I'm just not going to um, conform. Yeah, you know, conform to dumb shit. That's why I told them they can do anything they want, but I'll never be dumb, period. I'm not going to be dumb. I know there's a lot of you right now that are sitting there, you writing in the comments right now like, damn, you feel this because that's how you feel. Yeah. It's one thing to feel it and it's one thing to do it. Now, he and I know each other from old company from way back when. And um, since 2010, this this, this man has done everything he said he's going to do. Right. He, you know, this I'm I'm a pretty bold person, but uh, there's no filter. I mean, no filter on this. And no, um, none at all. I was, you know, there'll be some times where I'd be scared, like, damn, you, you, you said that, and uh, yeah, 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 sure did. Yeah, I mean, oh, sure did. I mean, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, like I said, I'm no angel by any stretch of the imagination, but I have zero tolerance for bullshit, and that comes from anybody, anybody. Whether it's Mike, I don't tolerate shit from my kids, so I'm not going to take it from somebody else. I'm not going to tolerate, just happen to be uh, uh, our old boss. I went to high school with the guy. The guy knows me since we're 15 years old. And I'm an old fart, right? And let me tell you something. And, you know, I had to ask the guy one day, I said, bro, what happened to you, dude? Did you have like some kind of stroke or some brain damage? Because I knew the guy, the guy never acted like this. And now all of a sudden the guy, you know, the guy comes out of pocket you know, talking all sideways, walking down the dock, talking to himself. And I tell him that. I say, hey, man, people, I'm not sure. I, I'm not scared to say it. Hey, you know, I see a doctor once a week and this kind of doctor. Yeah, I see a psychiatrist once a week because I commit I have a, I have issues. OK, but I don't have an issue with my job because I've never been taken in the office and say, you know what, Andy, you do not do your job. They, I've never been in there. Matter of fact, I've been in there because they tell me I did too good a job. 
Too much work. Yeah, did too much work. Yeah. But anyway, but like I said, I mean, I'm I have zero tolerance for bullshit, and whether it comes from anybody, you know, uh, you know, at the postal service, it seems to be like uh, it's it, and 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 Jay knows this. It's different rules for different fools. Um, the same guy could do the, uh, you know, we've had people in there do far worse things. Uh, you know, driving a truck without a driver's license. And guess what? They don't worry about it. That goes on a thing. But then somebody will come to work and have the wrong pair of shoes on and they send them home. But the guy that just, who is not a driver by any stretch of the imagination, got in a truck and winged it. And thank God he didn't kill anybody. Yeah. And that is, this is factual. Jay knows it. Uh, yes. Don't so, get me involved in your shit. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, really, I mean, I, I don't get it. And then they were bringing people from other departments, and he knows this. Oh you know, God. me and him were MVS drivers. They were bringing people in that were mail handlers to try to tell me and him what to do and how to drive a truck. Yeah, that's so, that whole 204B and supervisor yeah. thing. Yeah. And, and and our supervisor, mm-hmm. our department head, had these... And it, and it, sorry, I'm just being straight with you. I say I'm real, not rude. Uh, it, there was women. And they had these women in there that were giving out orders. And I finally had... She told me one day, she's a 204B. She goes, I, I need to write you up, Mr. Polo. And I go... You're a mail handler. You ain't right me up, lady. <laughs> Try that shit with somebody else. You ain't, and guess what? You're not a supervisor. Because these people went as far ahead as to order plaques that said, blah, 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 soup, transportation supervisor. I say, you are not a supervisor. You're a mail handler. I'm going to get Stop. Some shit for this video, boy. Woo. Stop. I mean, I just don't, you know, <laughs> you're a fucking mail handler. What is it? I mean, come on, stop being, you know, stop giving, there's one thing I can't stand is when somebody gives them self, themselves a self-appointed title, that, man, that just drives me nuts, mm. okay, that there's, it's, it's, it's ridiculous, because what I told somebody there is, I told somebody, I said, you know what you do, you hurry up and get out of your house in the morning that your wife beats your ass and takes your check to come to work so you can cross that security gate because once you cross that security gate with our bad beep, you come in there, then you're somebody. Oh. Because there's people that are absolutely nobody unless they come to the post office because they can't give orders in their house. Oh. Their kids just do whatever they want. So, you know what I mean? How are you going to, you know, I mean, come on. You got people that live, you know, there's people that live double lives. You got people over there that live 10 lives. Because, and they live a lie, they can't look in the mirror, they see something else when they look in the mirror, come on. These people live in, in denial, it's it's insane, you know. Why don't you tell them how you really feel? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I am. Like I said, I get mad, please. Dude, I'm not, I'm, I'm not with all that shit. These people just, you know, oh, they, they want to be somebody so bad. And they, but they, it, treat, they treat, they treat, they treat oh, their yeah. peers like garbage. And then at the end of the day, yeah, then when you tell them to fuck off, oh, you told me to fuck off. Well, you fucking treat me like, you know, you know, like, like, like I'm a piece of shit. And, you know, and then what? Then you don't expect to get somebody to retaliate. How many of you all feel that? I know the comment section. And, you know, I, right I have now. no problem that, you know, but where I'm this, this behavior that I'm showing you now, this is when I was in his department. I don't have to do this behavior where I'm at now. That's a whole different person. Oh, yeah. You all seen the video with him out there? Yeah. He's doing relaxing, looking at fat checks. Yeah. I might have had to take a couple of those down because some clown reported me to. Yeah, yeah. Please, that clown. Anyway. That clown. Um, That clown ain't nobody. He's he's the one. He's another one that his wife beats him up and takes his check. And then he comes to work to be somebody. Outside, when he punches back out that gate. He's back the punk that he was when he left his house. That motherfucker comes back in. Oh, I'm somebody. Puffs his chest out. Yeah, please, get the fuck out of here. Got no time for that dumb shit. You know. So, so everything he's saying right now, 99% of you wish you could say it and wish that some of you do say it, and you wondering how you could say it without retaliation. He never thinks about retaliation. Cause I'm not scared of anybody. 
I'm not scared of nobody. There's nothing that anybody can do to me that I've been through much worse. Okay, so there's nothing at that anybody at that post office can do to me. Mm. No, mm. no. And by the way, we passed our 90 days. By the way, yeah. Mm-hmm. So the one thing that I notice is that uh, a lot of people that that have the issues with the supervisors and the supervisors want to demand respect. I noticed because I've dealt with your um, your manager before, and she's a hundred percent. Yeah, she's respectful. Yeah. And I I can't speak for all of the employees in your department, but I don't think any any of them have anything negative to say about your manager. No. And that's no. how it should be. She no. gets the job done. Yeah. And she has yeah. utmost respect for the people. I and- like the chain of command in my thing there is, you know, our issue with that what we had over there was, is our manager thought that it was his own trucking company and he wanted to run it like it was his. Okay. And like I said, but at the cost of the post office. You know what I mean? And and it was a whole different rule, different fools thing. You know, like I said, the post office is slap full of hypocrites. Slap full of lazy motherfuckers and hypocrites. Just straight up. It is what it is. I, I mean, I'm not, you know, like I'm saying, if I'm testifying in court, this is how I testify. You want to know, I'm going to tell you. And you might not like it, and that's it. But you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, you know, that's just like me. I dated a mail handler. They had me in the office giving me an I.I. for sleeping with a mail handler, right? But but our dude slept with a mail handler, and he was a boss. Not only slept with a mail handler, got her pregnant. And guess what? Ain't nothing happened. But me, they wanted to crucify me for sleeping with a mail handler. Come on, what, what, what? They asked me, but then they didn't do shit to the dude. So yeah, how am I not going to have a problem with that? There's certain stuff you can't overlook in life. And it's obvious shit like that that is just, it drives me nuts. And and it has to come out because that's what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. That's just like, that's like, dude, I was out cutting the grass, right? Dude, his truck's there. I'm cutting the grass and using the blower. Some dirt got on dude's truck, right? Dirt got on dude's truck. He took pictures, went out there and then sent an email to my boss that I got his car dirty. Mm. So I saw a dude the other day, I said, yo bro, check it out, man. I said, what you think's gonna happen to me when I'm out there cutting the grass, which is my job, and some grass, some grass blades get on your car, and you over here putting your hands on people and acting like an asshole here and messing up all kinds of shit over here, like I call myself. I told him the other day, I said, I'm a logistics genius. I forgot more than most than that guy will ever learn. And I guess he saw me as a threat. That's why I was only a driver in that department. Get worked up. Blood pressure. No, I'm not. I'm good. No, I'm good. No, Blood man, pressure. I'm good. Okay. So, but then again, I says, <laughs> what do you think's gonna happen to me that you this guy sent the plant manager an email, my boss, CC'd every W on I uh, CC'd everybody on this email that that, that is truck that his little piece of shit Jeep got dirty, right? And so then I'm like, what? And I go, bro, what do you think's going to happen to me? Because I'm out here doing my job. And you out here shoving, putting your hands on dudes. And you're still here. I said, the same thing is going to happen to me that happens to you. Zero. Nothing. So, you know what I mean? It is what it is, people. But, you know, like I said, I should really have my own channel on here. But I, you know, I probably, you know, I spend too much time in the gym to, uh, to, um, to uh to be on uh to be doing this but this is my boy i just happen to be here so we getting down like this today mm. but like i said if you want more i'll give you more you just tell him and then we'll get back on this no problem we'll have him back we'll have him back i have no problem saying what's on my mind and this is to anybody and everybody i have no problem i have i ain't scared of nobody <laughs> forget it like i told somebody when they told me that one time you're going to get out of my post office. And I told her, and I used the word, so don't be offended. Bitch, you ain't nobody here. You ain't a supervisor. Give me your ID. I said, I ain't giving you no fucking ID. So I raised, the, hey, guess what she said? Well, I'll call the cops. I said, you better tell them cops when they come here, they better be ready and able to kill me. And then guess what? I got in the truck, went and did my run, 
at my bid. I came back. I punched out and I went home. And guess what? That was, I don't know, how many years ago was that, Jay? And they did nothing. 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 Hey, seven cop cars come running up, rushing up in that building. And they're just putting their gloves on. They ran up on me because we used to wear the same hat. Come to right. think about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm think about and it. And I'm right? out, you know. I'm like, come on. This is crazy, man. And I'm just this little dude, this little old dude, man. It just, oh, you know, man. come on, man. Can, any, can anybody identify? I mean, this went on a little bit, but can anybody identify? If you want to see some more, Mr. P. This, this. <laughs> Woo! I bet y'all wasn't ready for that. No. Shit, I wasn't ready for that. I know who he is, but. Yeah, no, and this is no act. This is me. Yeah, like is. you turn, hey, if you turn me on, you come, you come across me sideways. It don't matter where you are. You're going to get it this way. This is not only in his house or at the post. This is anywhere. Yeah. And the people that work at the plant notices exactly who he is. Oh, yeah. Exactly who he is. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, so. it is what it is, you know. But guess what? It's real. It's not rude. I'll never be fake or phony. No, fuck no. So, you know, straight up. I ain't got, hey, I ain't got shit to lose. So, there you go. And on that note, this is J.H. with Mr. P. I appreciate you coming through, big dog. Yes, sir. <laughs> Y'all want to see some more Mr. P? Y'all hit me up in the comment section. Any questions? I'm, he reads all of them anyway. Mm -hmm. All right? We out. <laughs>